In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use mini disc infiltrometer to measure hydraulic conductivity of the soil. Hydraulic conductivity is the measure of how water moves through the soil profile. And water resources engineers use hydraulic conductivity to design rain gardens and bioinfiltration basins. All right, now let's talk about different parts of this mini disc. First of all, we have a suction tube over here, and the suction tube is inside a stopper. There are different lines on this suction tube that shows different levels of suction. There is another video that talks about the theory behind this infiltrometer. I highly recommend watching that video to understand what this suction tube does. Then we have the Marriott chamber over here. There's another tube. This is called the Marriott tube. It goes all the way down to this reservoir. And the reservoir is also gradually marked to make sure that we know how much water we have in this reservoir. And eventually, the last thing that I want to talk about is this stopper and a stainless steel stopper over here. Um, there are some pores. This stainless steel actually is, has a lot of pores in it. There are some pores in the soil as well. And the pores in the soil create the suction and water inside this reservoirs infiltrates into the soil. All right, now that we know about different parts of mini disc infiltrometer, I'm going to show you how to use it to measure hydraulic conductivity. Okay, so the first step is to take this stopper and fill this chamber with water. Once this is filled, you're going to put it back and then turn this. Okay, take off the disc and then now fill the reservoir with water all the way up. I'm going to put the disc back. Now I have specific amount of water. Right now it looks like it's about 94 milliliters. And then we have some water in this chamber. When you look closely, you can see the lines and the suction level on this tube, on the vacuum tube. I'm going to set to two centimeters. Again, how to figure out the suction over here has been explained in another video, and I highly recommend you watching that video as well. This is ready. Now we, are, we need to find a flat surface of the soil and put this on top of the soil to measure hydraulic conductivity. All right, the first thing that you need to do is to make sure that you note down the amount of water that you have in the reservoir. Right now, when I look at it, it is about 90 or 91 milliliters inside the reservoir. So you're going to write that. You're going to create a table, and that table has two columns. Column number one represents time in seconds, and column number two represents volume in milliliters. So the first time is going to be T equals zero. That's your starting time. And the volume associated with T equals zero is 90 or 91, depending on how full your reservoir is. As soon as you put this flat disk on top of the soil, you are going to start the stopwatch and take frequent measures. Okay. All right, now let's put it on the ground and see how it works. So right now, I have a pretty flat surface on the ground over here. If your soil is not this flat, you need to find a flat surface. And to make infiltration a little bit easier, you need to put a little bit of sand on the ground to make a flat surface. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of sand over here and make sure the surface is flat. And... After that, once you created your flat surface over here, you're going to put the disc on top of the flat surface. So as soon as I'm going to put it down, I'm going to start the stopwatch and take measurements. Let's take a look at it. You can see that as soon as I put this on the ground, there are bubbles. The bubbles indicate that the water is infiltrating into the soil. So now I can use my stopwatch and at frequent times and different times, write the level of water, the milliliter of the volume of water. And after taking many measurements, it's ready to do the calculations and find the value of hydraulic conductivity for this specific soil. 